I was just thinking about how it's like January fucking, what is it? 24th, right? And I'm like, oh shit. Like, I'm a, I'm already a bit late on my New Year's resolutions. Like, fuck. Yeah, about, almost. About 24 days in. Yeah. And I had about like, you know, like, like 10 ones that I would never reach ever, ever, ever. Okay. Like, they roll into every year. Like, hopefully this year's the year I do them. But even the ones that were like low bar setting <laughs> resolutions. What was that? Like confidence boosters. Okay. It's like, uh, make sure you like, you know, trim your toenails before the before the 14th or whatever. It's like, damn. Right. You, uh, see, you uh, see them uh, on the 18th and you're like, ah. <laughs> gotta scratch yeah. off the list. Yeah, okay. So. Like, and obviously that's, that wasn't one. Mm. I'm pretty hygienic. As, <laughs> yeah, obviously, obviously. You're, you're squeaky clean. No, but things like, um, you know what? Delete Uber Eats this year, man. You're spending way too much money on fucking, on just ordering, go to the shops and just cook some meals. It was like, January 1st, 2nd, and, and I justified it to myself. It was like, well, obviously I'm going to not cook food on January 1st. I'm hungover as shit. Mm. And then January 2nd, it was like, well, I didn't get to go to the shops yesterday, so let's order food again. Yeah. And then it's like, well, now I'm broke, so like next payday. <laughs> <laughs> and it, just, it just fucking is Yeah, you push the goalpost back. So I was just wondering if you've got fucking any news. I haven't spoke to you about your New Year's resolutions. What are yours? Well, one of mine is to get on stage as well. Like, that's the part of the reason that I'm going to the Rhino Room and, and stuff like that is I wanted to put myself in a very uncomfortable position and scratch my itch for trying stand-up comedy. Yeah. And yeah, so one of my new... That was my New Year's resolution last year, but now I'm taking it a lot more seriously. Yeah, well, you've been going to the fucking... Yeah, the open, shit, open know, mic nights and stuff like that. Get and yourself familiarised with them and shit. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty rough to go and listen to but it oh. is it is raw comedy you you need to you need to come one night because it's not like you're going to see you know Tom Segura or any of these sure. professional comics polished. yeah polished. yeah where you're hearing a set that is like curated enough to make you laugh and everyone that's in the room is like at least going to get a google is like at the Rhino Room on the open mic nights like you get dead air yeah proper dead air well I think one thing you also got to remember about comics like tom segura if he wasn't famous the way he is some of his jokes probably wouldn't work in the rhino room probably i, I, not. Feel, I feel like he gets a lot of you know he can make faces that people recognize because they follow him mm. and, in the podcast and, 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 stuff like and that. that generates a laugh yeah that, that that's just for the followers that's mm. not for people just sitting in the room yeah no no that's they, they pan, like when you're that famous i think you pander the audience a bit or you get the audience's the audience is already doing like 20% of the work for you because they love you and they want to laugh at you. I agree. I And that's a one of the things I was looking at last night was some of the jokes that I expected to not work worked and some of the jokes that I expected to work and I enjoyed them and laughed, other people weren't laughing. Do, do you remember any sort of specific examples, even if it's not the joke word for word, but just the topics they were speaking on? Oh no! I watched like fifteen comics, man. Oh, okay, yeah. So like, it is, was, is it just like five minutes? So yeah, it's five minutes. And what well, what's kind of good and bad is that the room contains fifty people total, but probably fifteen, twenty of them are comedians. That people who want to go on. Yeah, stage. they are people that are just sitting there and just waiting for a time their time to go on stage. Sure. Uh, 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 on stage, but like the MC, like well, the 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 host of the show, he he was funny. He had this whole bit where he turned inside out <laughs> and it was like he wore like an inside out suit, like onesie and, and stuff like that. And um, do you reckon if you if you ever did it right and the best you got by, for, you know, lack of a better term, because it might not have anything to do with your ability, but just the the way of the exposure and stuff like that but like if you got to be like the MC at the at the running room would you be happy with that like oh bro you're great you've been here a few times you, you we want you to run the show for us we'll pay you to do it would that be like that, nah, that'd be a nice feeling for nah, you I think the allure for me is the contained five minutes is the 20 minute set is the <laughs> me you know it's like it, it's not well, you are a journalist so you are a writer yeah well it, it's not that. like I don't want to host the show because like, I don't want to be the gel that holds the show together you I want to be the show you don't think you'd enjoy that like the Ryan I'm Kyle sure I would like, oh my god you've been killing it here do you reckon 
we need someone for next week to run the thing. I'm sure that, I would. That wouldn't be an ego boost in a way. No, but like I, I think that from the position that I'm in now, my main attraction is to get that five minutes and to <laughs> okay. ace that five minutes. It's not. It's not to like. It's so funny. It's yeah. aiming for like. I just need five. minutes. I need five I, minutes. I think that's awesome. And it's I like mean, it, all the power to your brother. Mm. That five minutes, like when you're just sitting there and counting. Five minutes yeah. is a long fucking it's time. It's a long yeah. fucking time. It's more than 60 seconds. <laughs> That's way sure. more than... If it, even 60 seconds and have, you ever, have you ever sat there in silence for 60 seconds? It's the, a fucking long yeah, minute. Yeah, every fucking day. And can you like, imagine uh, how much silence on your first set? Yeah, the 11th of the 11th, I'm sitting there for a minute. I'm like, how long is this going for? 